There you are. How's everything going? What season are you in right now? Mentally as well as physically. Mentally, are you like fall and you're shedding some leaves? Springtime, maybe, where you're growing new thoughts? Where are you at mentally and physically? I think that's one of the reasons why I love to meditate. It's You can clear your mind in ways that the everyday world doesn't allow you to do. But when you find that place, that little moment where you can just meditate, it allows the mind, body, and soul to move through some seasons. We've talked about this before. Meditating in the middle of the night is such a great thing, but we've got to understand and convince ourselves it is not sleeping. It is only resting the mind. There's so much purity that moves through the entire body that it becomes infectious to find places and moments to truly meditate. Now, my only wish is to locate the source of upbeat energy after several minutes within mindfulness and a cleared mind. Springing to life with enormous energy? That's not something I've experienced yet. It's more like a casual stretching, like a butterfly escaping a cocoon. My wings are wet and my mind hasn't locked in on flight. Because there was very little sleep last night, the rest of my body is saying, come on, I'm still carrying the weight of yesterday into what is going to be a brand new day. I've got expressions from my past. If you meditate, you must find the right time to truly sleep. The two can become beautiful pieces of harmony in your life because the rest of the world is out of control chaos. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Meditation is one of those things that a lot of people will say, well, I I tried it, but my mind wouldn't shut off. That's the whole idea, is, is to learn how to get inside. What locks you and blocks you is completely different from what is doing the same thing to me. And learning how to use your mind and the mindfulness and the power within to be able to control those situations. I will do things such as, no, 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 clear your mind. No words. Don't bounce your foot. Don't move your fingers. Just feel what's around you. Now, that takes some confidence because you want to be able to listen to the doves in the background. You want to be able to see if people are watching you because if they are, oh my God, that could be very embarrassing because a lot of us are introverts and we don't like it when people take note that we are meditating, that we're in a place of here we are. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, learn how to meditate in the public eye. What? Yeah, that right there when when you're at work. And the boss man is all over your case or your coworkers. I want, I want, I want. You go to your cubicle or maybe even go to the front seat of your car and you clear your mind. You allow everything around you. Don't move your feet. Don't move your fingers. Don't move your nose. Just allow everything around you to seep inside. But remember, you're only resting your mind. So when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're going, why do I have insomnia? Meditation is a great way to clear your mind because of the stress or the anxiety that caused you to wake up. Like, for instance, I'll give you a good example. I popped my eyes open at two o'clock this morning because I had a crazy idea. I forgot to turn off the Wi-Fi in the RV. I went out to the RV. The Wi-Fi was put away two days ago during the ice cream social. I don't know why my mind told me at two o'clock you forgot to put the Wi-Fi away, but I used meditation to clear the mind, to allow the universe to embrace the moment. It's going to take practice, but the thing about it is, I learned this in martial arts as I became a third degree black belt. Practice is what we do out of the classroom, but you can practice poorly. So what I want you to do is I want you to look into meditation and I want you to talk with people who do meditate because there's a lot of books out there with a lot of propaganda in it and just learn the methods of why it's important to meditate, why it's great to unlock the building blocks, why you can identify the habit, but unlock the habit and find your place of peace. But it's going to take some work. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.